It's got to go on the channel. It's got to go on the channel. Ain't no way. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, normally I go like, hey, everybody say what's up to YouTube. One, two, three action. And that's how you see what's up YouTube on stream. But we're not doing that this time because this stream is kind of organic. We're just doing whatever. If y'all guys want to join stream, please do. We're just listening to music that y'all guys request free of charge. If I like it, I listen to it all the way through. If I don't, we skip. Simple as that. Either way, someone was like, hey, did you see what Kanye West told Alex Jones? And uh, what good could come out of this? There could be good that comes out of the interview, but it can't be good when someone is like, hey, go watch what Kanye said to Alex Jones, because that normally means like he fucked up. I saw something about Nazis and Hitler. I don't even know. Oh, man, let's just watch it first. Let's watch it first. The one minute clip. I don't know what the context of the conversation is. Um, I don't know what has been talked about, but if you don't know Alex Jones, he is ultra right. I'm talking about like if he was any more right, he'd circle around and be left. That's how far right he is. And as you know, Kanye off his rocker. Uh, I know that's not the appropriate thing to say for someone with mental instability. But at this point, how long is this manic episode lasting? If we can't blame everything on the on the manic bipolar disorder. You know, he got he's a billionaire. He got a team around him. No one's like, hey, Kanye, maybe you should shut the fuck up. That's right. You're not Hitler. You're not a Nazi. You don't deserve to be called that and demonized. Well, I mean, that's true. I never said he, I never said Kanye was a Nazi. I thought his words were misplaced and he like doesn't know really how to speak publicly. And he has a long record of not knowing how to speak publicly. I mean, if he is legitimately a genius, most geniuses outside of Albert Einstein, they got something wrong with them. That's right. You're not Hitler. You're not a Nazi. You don't deserve to be called that and demonized. Well, I I see I I see good things about Hitler also. The Jew I love everyone and Jewish people are not going to tell me you can love um you know us and you can love what we're doing to you with the contracts. And you can love what we're, you know, what we're pushing with the pornography. But this guy that invented highways, invented the very microphone that I use as a musician, you can't say out loud that this person ever did anything good. And I'm done with that. I'm done with the classifications. Every human being has something of value that they brought to the table, especially Hitler. Ooh. Oh, I mean, he did invent highways. I don't think anybody ever said Hitler didn't have any good like ideas or inventions. But when you slaughtered millions of people just because of their religious ideology, that tends to be the pineapple in the fruit salad. I've made this analogy before. If you're new here, you've never heard this analogy, but in fruit salad, you get a smorgasbord, fire ass word, need to use that in my vocab more. You get a plethora, a myriad. You get a lot of different fruits, right? And normally they, they complement each other fairly well, except for this dick pineapple motherfucker just comes in and takes over. Once you put pineapple in something, the shit just tastes like pineapple. That tends to be what happens when you slaughter millions of people for their race. No one gives a fuck about the highways anymore. Hey, appreciate you for helping out my commute, but that doesn't like, le that doesn't be like, ah, okay. Maybe we could look past the whole fucking Auschwitz situation. Am I going insane? Am I the only one that doesn't feel like that? Is it the bleach? Did it seek through my head? Do we have any anything else here? Let's see what the Googs has to say. Kanye West tells Alex Jones, I like Hitler. The far right, the far right troll. All right, we'll see. Like, this is why you got to get your information from multiple sources. The Daily Beast is probably not a credible fucking place to get down the middle info. When the, when the headline starts, the far right troll. Sat down with conspiracy nut Alex Jones for a bonkers chat rifle or rife with anti-Semitism. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a fucking headline. Ye's appearance on far right conspiracy theory outlet Infowars quickly turned into a chance to preach anti-Semitic hatred on Thursday as the star formerly known as Kanye West praises Adolf Hitler within the first 30 minutes of the broadcast. Ye, whose face is entirely hidden behind a black mask, began praising genocidal German dictators soon after the broadcast began. Ye began to commend Hitler and InfoWars host Alex Jones to try to defend the rapper's recent streak of anti-Semitic statements. Every human being has value that they brought to the table, especially Hitler. Damn. 
Not especially. I forgot that he said that. Jones repeatedly tried to steer Ye away from supporting. Bro, and Alex Jones is trying to be like, hey, yo, you, you might need to reel that back in, my boy. When Alex Jones is trying to reel you in, bro, we've lost it. Jones repeatedly tried to steer Ye away from supporting Hitler, but Ye, who dined at Mar-a-Lago with Donald Trump last week, Oh, man, this is why I don't read the news, bro, especially from, like, viral news outlets like the Daily Beast, like Vox. They're reporting on things that need to be reported about, but there's clearly there's clearly a bias. This is just as bad as Fox News saying fair and balanced. Yeah, for the fucking right, maybe. You don't need to add in that little flavoring to this fucking thing that has nothing to do with that dinner. Insisted on complimenting the murderous regime behind the Holocaust. They did good things too, Ye said. We gotta stop dissing the Nazis all the time. No, we don't. No, we fucking don't, Kanye. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, man. Ye's appearance featured plenty of other anti-Semitic remarks and attacks on Jewish people, but Jones claiming there was a Jewish mafia and that the Jewish people control Hollywood. Ye held up an orange net and a bottle of Yoohoo chocolate drink, which he claimed represented Israeli leader Benjamin Netahan. Benjamin N., the longtime prime minister, along with the Mossad, an Israeli intelligence agency, want to take Ye's children away, away the rapper bizarrely claimed. Why the fuck would Israel care about your kids? You know what's bad? Whenever I sound like the fucking skit on college dropout. What in the fuck was that, Kanye? Man, I told you to go do some shit for the kids. You give me your motherfucking graduation tickets right now. What in the fuck was that, Kanye? Here's the thing about Kanye. And this exact fucking interview before, like when Kanye said anti-Semitic things or when Kanye went off his rocker a little bit and said some shit outlandish, as a general person who has a good sense of the world, you could probably piece together what he meant. A lot of people see that as defending Kanye. I see that as more like reading through the lines and weeding out all the Kanye antics and trying to understand what he says as someone who can't speak very well in public. He's not a good public speaker. He's got like ADD when he speaks and he just fucking goes all over the place. And I'm like, what, what are we even talking about? So generally, I could see what he's trying to say, but he's putting it as clear as day right here. There's no like, I don't see how people could defend this at a certain level. You could defend the fact that, OK, I get what you're saying that, you know, Hitler had good ideas and inventions like the highway system, the whole thing. I get that. But to go as far as literally saying the Nazis did good things to We've got to stop dissing the Nazis all the time. No, we don't. Like, there is a clear imbalance in the good and the bad that they've done. Making my commute 15 minutes shorter in the morning, I'm not letting fucking the Holocaust slide because of it. It's just there's not enough good that he's not fucking Batman. Hitler isn't Batman. Batman gets to blow up the entire fucking city as long as he catches the Joker. And we're good on that. Hitler is not Batman. He doesn't get to try to eliminate an entire fucking race of people. Is Kanye West? Oh, this is going to be rough to say. And I, I don't, it's a, it's a rough comparison, but I'm only comparing because the way that people talk about Kanye West is very similar to how Kanye West is talking about Hitler right now. The way Kanye West is trying to defend Nazi Germany and Hitler by pointing out the good that he's done is almost the same as avid Kanye fans trying to be like, yeah, but Kanye West made graduation. So we're gonna let it slide. Like how long are you gonna let it slide for? Jones appeared to be caught off guard by the virtual of Ye's anti-Semitic remarks at one questioning whether Ye was even behind the mask. I don't like Nazis, Jones said. I like Hitler, Ye replied. What the fuck? Is this what it feels like to be in California, like during the summer and all the wildfires are happening and you can't really do anything but watch and hope that your house doesn't get taken down with it? Because I feel like that's the situation right here. Like we're watching Kanye just ruin his reputation. People are still going to support. People are still going to say, yeah, but he's a genius behind the boards. Yeah, but he's a genius clothing wise. And yes, he does make nice shoes. He is a genius when it comes to making music. So people are going to support. But I mean, they're like, at what point? Like that's literally out of his mouth. I like Hitler and I'm all for free speech and all that. So I'm not saying that you can't say it, but come on, dog. I feel like we're watching the fall of Rome again. I, I support I 100 percent support the right to free speech. So I'm not saying that he shouldn't be allowed to say it. I'm not saying that he should be punished for being for saying it, but there are consequences to there are consequences to the things that you say. So while I support his right to say it, if his whole empire falls because of it, 
just consequences to your actions.